Hello and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. My name is Doris82. Welcome to today's video. Thank you for clicking into this video. I know by the title of this video, you already know what this video is going to be about. So if you are a Nigerian content creator, a YouTube content creator, and you are wondering if you can open a domiciliary account without hundred dollar initial deposit this video is for you so in this video i will be sharing with you how i was able to open my domiciliary account for my google adsense payment all right in a nigerian bank yes in a nigerian bank so it happened that um last year july I was monetized my YouTube channel was monetized and I was accepted into the YouTube partnership program right okay um, in setting up my Google Adsense account there are some information and details I need to set up and one of those information and details I need to add to my account is payment um, payment yes you need to add payment um, details in your google adsense account and i have two options or there are two options or two types of payments one can receive from google adsense and one of them is either wire transfer or check i know if you choose the check um, method of payment it means you have to wait for your check to be processed and sent to post office if something happened for road your money don't lost okay so i rather chose the wire transfer um, payment option and for wire transfer payment option you need a domiciliary account or i needed a domiciliary account and in trying to open the account a domiciliary account it became a problem for me because why i had speculations about the account opening i was told i didn't go to the bank actually i think maybe it was a say because i asked people around about oh if i need to open uh, an account a domiciliary account what do i need how much do i need to open the account and i was told i needed a hundred dollar initial deposit or maybe that was the usual practice because everybody was saying the same thing people have asked they all told me I needed $100 initial deposit in the Nigerian bank to open a domiciliary account. And guys, you know, $100 is not easy to come by currently in Nigeria. So I was busy trying to raise the fund. I've asked my friends, my family, even my husband to help me raise $100. And that hasn't been easy until... I decided to go to the bank by myself. I went to a Nigerian bank, one of the Nigerian banks, GC Bank to be precise, okay? So when I got there, I went to the customer service section and then I told them I want to open a domiciliary account. What do I need? What are the information? What are the necessary documents? I need to open a domiciliary account. So my greatest surprise, I was asked if I have an existing account with them. And then I said, yes, I have an account with GT Bank. So they said, since I already have an account with them, all I need is two um, um, referee, all right? Or reference, okay? Referee reference, okay. So those two um, referee, you be um, current account orders from either gt bank or any other bank but the current accounts must not be a salary account all right if it was a salary account that would have been easy for me to get i know a lot of people with current accounts but it was salary account so that actually gave me another job i was if you see that i was looking for people with a uh, current account ha ah, so luckily i got two persons to sign for me okay so i got two referees as um, required and my nin card 
the means of identification had it been i did not um have an account with the bank an existing account with the bank definitely they would they will or they would need more information as in background information about me okay so if you are going to the bank if you don't have an existing account with that bank they will require more information from you for me um i have an existing account with a bank all i needed was two referee and my nin card so I asked the customer care representative, how much dollar do I need to open the account? And then he, yeah, he said, no money, no initial deposit. And I'm like, are you kidding me? You mean I don't need $100 initial deposit to open my domiciliary account? And then he said, no, that after the account is open, then I can fund the account with any amount of dollar that i so desire i'm like what so what have i been doing you understand because my payment is loading <laughs> if a youtube content creator you understand what i mean my uh, payment threshold is getting to the finish line gradually okay okay so i actually needed this account um and actually need to set up my account for payment so that once the time is right i will be wired okay all right so i've been said that i i went back to the bank with the supporting documents and the account was successfully opened without any form of hesitation it didn't even take time all right so i gave all the information that was required i was giving a form to complete the account was successfully opened without any further hesitation and after a few more days i got a notification from the bank that my account was opened and what gave me so much joy about this all account opening is that not just the domiciliary account that's the dollar account that was opened a dollar account was open a euro account was open um um pound account was open a naira current account was open so it's a four kind of four in one account that was open so to say if i need to receive euro i have an account that i have an account separately to uh, receive the euro or pounds dollar and naira okay which is the current account which is the four account and like i said i did not deposit any initial hundred dollar to open the dollar account or the domiciliary account so the only money i deposited is for my debit card I was required or I was advised to make an um, initial deposit to activate the account for my debit card to be issued. Okay, so that's the only money I uh, deposited and it, it's not um, fixed. You can deposit any amounts of your choice, any amounts not fixed at all. Okay, so that's that. So as I'm talking to you, as I'm speaking to you, as you're watching this video, I have successfully opened a domiciliary account to receive payments from Google AdSense when the time is right. What I mean is when I reach my payment threshold of $100. All right. So that is it about this video. And I'm making this video to encourage content creator who wants to open uh, a domiciliary account and has been um, having the same speculations of oh I need a hundred dollar I don't have hundred dollar so I can't open an account it's a lie you can open accounts with that hundred dollar deposit just go to any of the Nigerian banks well because i heard that information from gtb i didn't go to another bank maybe i should have gone to another bank to compare the um requirements okay so if you like you can go to other banks to compare or better still go to a gypsy bank in 
nigeria any of their branches in nigeria to open your account okay i hope i have been able to motivate somebody i hope i've been able to inspire somebody i hope i have been able to solve a problem yes if i had watched this video earlier on guys i would have opened the account long 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 ago maybe immediately um uh, i was accepted into my youth into the youtube partnership program i would have opened the account a long time ago because i thought i needed a hundred dollars as the initial deposit so i was laid back i was thinking oh but will i get hundred dollars to do this sure you understand ahead so this is a motivation this is an eye opener for you watching this video i hope you find this video interesting informative and educative please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave a comment share it if you can subscribe to my youtube channel and i will see you again in my next video goodbye